All right, so we are revisiting a very important topic here today, and that is flannels, flanny flans. Uh. No. This is something I feel passionate about. I love flannels. Aside from hoodies, it's probably the most essential fall item, in my opinion. These are five brands that I wear and show here very often, but it's good to reiterate the fact and have you guys not stray to all these various places when some of the best ones are right in front of you, they're affordable, and that's truly why I love flannels. You can get so many good ones at an affordable price. If you're interested in any of these flannels, I'll link them for you down in the description. And if you have any recommendations of your own, please leave them down in the comment section so we can check those out as well. Just to get it out of the way, I'm 6'2", 185, 190 on weekends. It's a Sunday now and I had pizza last night, so we're looking at 190 right about now. So. That is just a reference point. I think every single one of these is a size large, so if I forget to mention that, they're all size large. That's my true size. I hope it helps. Let's dive into it. First up is a flannel that I showed you guys not long ago. This is from Urban Outfitters. It's got a vintage wash to it. I'm not gonna spend much time on this because some of you have probably already seen it, whether it was in my lookbook or my uh, top 10 fall essential videos. Go check those out if you missed them. But it's got a nice vintage wash to it, and it's the lightest flannel on this list. It almost feels like a hybrid between an Oxford and a flannel. So if that's something you're interested in, where you don't want that heavyweight flannel, this is probably a good option for you. It hits for $50. It's got a little bit of a denim type feel to it with a splash of orange. This color is available still right now. Again, I'll link them for you guys. This is also the shortest lengthwise on the list. So if you buy flannels and you're like, damn, I like this, but it's just a little bit too long, this is probably a good option for you. Quick hit with that one though, let's keep it moving. Next up, another one that you can buy right now. And again, I featured this in my fall lookbook. I wore it with my Union 4s, goes perfectly. This is from PacSun. I have been chatting a lot about PacSun sandals. Sandals. <laughs> sandals. Gonna hook you guys up with some sandals. I really like the weight of this shirt. Similar to the Urban Outfitters, it's light, but it's got more of a brushed cotton to it. So it feels like a flannel, but it's still lighter. It's not gonna be that heavy flannel shirt that you can just wear on its own. I've got a bunch of these, and I even wear them at night during the summer because it's not super warm. And for some of you, that might be a good thing. If you're in Cali, if you're in Florida, and you can rarely pull off a flannel, Look for these because you don't want that super heavyweight flannel like the next ones that I'm gonna show you. Something light is probably perfect for the temperature in your area. And then the plaid design on here is super unique. PacSun does a good job at offering unique plaid designs. This one's purple, turquoise, and tan. Like what? You'll never see that combination on a flannel. So I went ahead and got it. The price on this one is extremely affordable at 35 bucks. The fit is very relaxed though. It's also long. So I'm 6'2", I like a longer flannel. If you don't, you might wanna skip this one. I know I'm forgetting a detail here. I know I'm forgetting something to point out. I mentioned my height, I mentioned the weight, the price. What am I forgetting? I know I'm forgetting something. And at number three, we have a pleasant surprise. This guy is from H&M, and in the past, I've bought a couple H&M flannels, and they were junk, junk. You know, I think that flannels should be affordable, they should be decent quality, and most of the fast fashion brands do a really good job at that, surprisingly. You know, I've talked a lot about fast fashion stuff that you should maybe avoid it if you're looking for certain items. As far as flannels go, forget everything I said. It's fair game. Fast fashion does a good job with most flannels, except for the standard $25 version that H&M puts out. This is a step above that. I believe this one was 35, maybe it was 40, and you can tell, but there's a $25 flannel that H&M offers. I haven't seen it or bought it in a few years, but when I did, I remember getting it in and being like, damn, this is like a tablecloth. This is horrible. So if any of you have bought one recently and the quality has changed, please let me know. And then here we are. You know, you could almost call this a shirt jacket. Shirt jacket slash flannel shirt. 
where it's a heavy weight. This is the lightest plaid design that's on this list. It's available right now. It's also a size, sometimes H&M I switch things up, large. It is a size large. But you can still buy this right now to my knowledge and don't be afraid of the lighter color flannels. You'll notice that most of the flannels on this list aren't those typical buffalo plaid, you know, red and black, gray and black, blue and black. None of these are like that. You gotta step outside the box. Mess around with the different plaid designs because that's where it's at. That's how you add uniqueness to your outfits. You don't want the standard buffalo plaid stuff that everyone has. If you want your flannel to coordinate with your sneakers well, mess around with the colors. Skip the red and black. That should be the take home in this. Skip the standard red and black. You probably already have one, move on. You don't need another. All right, and then at number two, we have a beautiful flannel from L.L. Bean. I know I've featured L.L. Bean on this channel a few times, but never their flannels. This is a first, and you guys actually put me onto them. Last time I did a flannel video, everyone was like, L.L. Bean, L.L. Bean, L.L. Bean. This is the best quality flannel on this list. It's also the most expensive. That goes hand in hand, but it's still not crazy priced. It's still 60 bucks, I think. The color is straightforward and what you'd expect this time of year, but it has a little bit of a twist. If you see this thing up close, it's got red, it's got white, it's got yellow, it's got blue, it's got black and dark green. All those colors within this plaid design. When I look at flannels like this, what stands out to me is that white stripe. That's really what makes this thing pop. The fit on this thing is slightly fitted, yet it's not really. It's not a slim fit shirt, it's still pretty relaxed, but I guess you could say it's the most fitted out of everything, probably the most fitted out of all of these flannels, but still very roomy. So don't let that turn you off. If you're looking for something to wear on Thanksgiving or Christmas, a good flannel, check these out. All right, and then last up, we gotta talk about the Gap. You knew it was coming. How could you not see it coming? Everything about them checks a box for me. Affordable, yep. Warm, yep. Fit. Yep, color options, yep. And now the brand's carrying a little bit of hype with the Yeezy signing. Some of you probably bought your first Gap item as the Yeezy hoodie. The Gap has some amazing options. Not even flannels, all their clothing, very nice. I've had this for a few years. I wear it all the time. You hardly ever see an aqua blue. I don't have anything else that's this color. I bought it for maybe 30 bucks. The Gap is always doing a sale. I'll link the flannels down in the description and then look at the bottom. It's gonna say 40% off and give you a code right then and there. You don't have to go searching. You can just hit tap, apply, 40% off. It's a given that they're gonna be doing 40% off for the rest of the season. This thing hasn't pilled up on me at all. Double front pockets on these as well, which is always nice. And also this one I'm wearing is from The Gap. If you wanna see how I'm styling these flannels with my sneakers, make sure you're following me on Instagram. I'm at Eddie Wynn Kicks. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you have any questions for me, hit the comment section. And if you're not already subscribed here, make sure that you do that. Thank you for tuning in. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.